Hello everyone, good morning, welcome to um, this episode of While the Kettle Boils, episode number 42. Um, yesterday I asked, I did a little shout out, I asked for some ideas for things to talk about, people had some questions, so I decided, um, some people put some comments in, um, just because I'm not answering your comments today doesn't mean I won't answer them, I have made a note of them, and um, I'll get around to doing it. So, um the kettle has boiled, my coffee is brewing all the way over there, um, I've done my meditation this morning, I woke up a little bit late, um, so everything's running a little bit behind, but I'm, I'm going with it today, um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about CrossFit, because that was one of the things that um, was asked yesterday, um, I can't remember the exact question, but it was really about um, making sure that you're fueling and um, you know having enough energy and, and not getting too wiped out. So some of you may or may not know, I used to be a CrossFitter too. Um, I started CrossFit in 2010, I think, when it was probably still very, very new in London and... Um, yeah, there weren't a lot of CrossFit gyms around. I think the one I was going to was like the third one to open. And now there's like one in every postcode, even maybe even two. Um, and, you know, when I first joined CrossFit, I loved it. Um, you know, I've been doing my own thing for a while. And it was really just a nice way to sort of shake up my training. And um, also it was just really great with the group aspect. And I still didn't know many people in London. It was a really nice way to meet like-minded people and, and be part of a community. So I think like um, on so many levels, it did so much for me. I learned so much about my body. Um, I was really blessed to have such incredible and dedicated coaches who were really, um, you know, dedicated to making sure that people move well and teaching you how to move well. Um, and yeah, I got so much from it. And I was probably just like any other CrossFitter where, you know, just talking about CrossFit all the time, CrossFit, 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 CrossFit. Um, and really sort of got bitten by that CrossFit bug. Um, and I don't do it now anymore. And, um, you know, there's a few reasons for that. Is when I first started CrossFit, um, one of the things that, you know, if you're in the CrossFit community, people may or may not know is, um, you know, CrossFit is very big or very well aligned with the paleo diet. And a lot of people promote low carb. Um, and I'd never really come from that kind of low carb background but then you know you get into the crossword community and everyone's like oh you need to eat paleo and you need to eat low carb um and for me personally that really didn't suit me so what happened was that i was just like completely under fueling for my workouts um and i think that sort of started to create a deterioration in my CrossFit experience because I loved it so much. I wanted to do it like every day, five days a week even. Um, some of the workouts were particularly hard, particularly grueling from time to time. Um, but um, <laughs> so a little, little side story because my husband is putting hearts all over this video is that's where we met. <laughs> we met at the CrossFit gym. So there are many good things that came from CrossFit. But um, uh, that's a whole other story for another day. But oh, now I've lost my train of thought. So, um, so essentially, yeah, the, the workouts were long and grueling and hectic. Um, and I think my nutrition knowledge wasn't where it is now at the time that I was doing it. I mean, it was seven years ago. So um, he's... <laughs> um, Benjamin, stop putting those hearts everywhere. Um... So I think one of the things that happened to me was I just got incredibly burnt out. Um, I eventually just got to the point where I kind of felt like my body didn't really look like how it should look like for all the exercise I was doing. But then it also got to a point where my strength was like dwindling. It wasn't, I wasn't really getting any better. I was getting like a few little niggling injuries here and there. Um, and it was, I was just kind of use, losing my um, enthusiasm to go and train. My energy was low. My sleep was really bad. You know, just a few things which were off. And it wasn't horrific. It wasn't, um, you know, anything that was, you know, terrible. But I just, I guess I wasn't thriving. And it, it would be really interesting now um, because I, you know, I did that video last week about tracking macros. And I talked a little bit about that. And um, it would be really interesting now to 
if to see what I'm not going back to CrossFit because I'm too scared, but um, it would have been really interesting to see going back now and understanding more about macro tracking and better fueling. Um, if that experience would have been a little bit different. So I guess the thing with CrossFit is a huge part of it is you, you rock up and you're told what the workout is for the day. So, you know, some places are always going to be better than others in terms of their, the coaches and their understanding of human movement and their understanding of rest and recovery and what the programming looks like. So you are a little bit dependent on the powers that be um, to define your workout experience. But also sometimes the workouts aren't, you know, announced or revealed until you arrive, which means it can be quite difficult sometimes to plan your nutrition for the day to make sure you're getting adequate calories, adequate fueling, if what you're going to do is a surprise. So I guess there's another challenge there. Um, I'm especially noticing with um, women, um, you know, when you're young, when you're in your 20s, you know, you've obviously got a lot more resilience there. And I also think genetically that some people have a lot more resilience as well, just for certain physical sports. But I think what I'm definitely noticing with the women that I work with as, as they're getting older, and I'm not saying old, I'm just saying older than 20, um, you know, they've got kids, they've got busy jobs, they've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, and it's difficult to throw very, very intense workouts into all that stuff. Um, you know, just yesterday I was speaking with three different clients and all of them are just, you know, in such a state of stress at the moment. And it's it's not even December yet and everybody's worrying about Christmas and, um, you know, then beating yourself up with a workout is not the most loving thing to do. Um, so for me personally, um, although I loved my CrossFit experience, I think it would have probably been further enhanced with better nutrition, which is on me because I didn't know better at the time. Um, and then probably more balance. So instead of trying to go five times a week, maybe three times a week would have been adequate. And if I'd been doing more yoga, putting more yoga at that point in time. But I was still in that belief system that um, I had to beat myself up f to get a good workout. Um, and that's something that's changed is I probably only beat myself up once a week now. <laughs> so, um, if you guys have watched the, the video series I talk about, I talk about why, you know, this high intensity training that everybody is telling us we need to do to lose fat doesn't actually work for us. It works against us. Um, because really to have a good, healthy, strong body composition, it's all about rest and recovery, um, and adequate and the appropriate stimulation. And, and that's something that I learned a bit later. So the the way that I train at the moment is at the moment to be honest it's been very hit and miss because I've been pretty burnt out um and so I've really stripped back my training just because energetically I haven't been able to cope. I have noticed since I've been doing the meditation over the past I guess week now is um my energy is so much better. It is absolutely unbelievable how much better I feel for doing um, daily or twice daily meditation. Um, but that's aside. So my training at the moment, um, w when I'm back in my flow, I guess, is um, I do one sort of leg workout a week, maybe one run a week. I do, I've got a shoulder injury still at the moment, so I'm kind of treating quite carefully with upper body stuff, but call it one upper body session a week. Maybe one like sprint sled session a week, and then um, the rest is yoga and walking. And that's it. So nothing, nothing too crazy really. It's just really about train hard, fuel well, um, and um, yeah, and look after yourself. Look after your body. So um, Karen, I do think it was you who asked that question. I hope I've addressed it. Um, if you're looking for better balance, I would say less workouts, perhaps rest days in between workouts, um, proper fueling, making sure you're getting adequate carbs because with the CrossFit workouts, they're so glycolytic, they use so much of that sugar burning energy system that you can't be on a low carb diet. Um, you have to make sure that you're getting post-workout carbs and you're getting adequate carbs. Um, depending on your body type, I've ever seen everybody's body is different. Um, adequate calories, adequate carbs for recovery, and just listen to your body. If you feel beat up and you don't want to go, maybe don't go. Do something else that day. Go another day in the week. So um, that's everything from me, guys. Um, let me know if you've got any questions about this or anything else. Um, I'll be looking at some of those other suggestions tomorrow. I think there was one about insulin resistance, which I quite like to talk about. Um, but if you guys have anything else on your mind or anything specifically I need to address in that insulin resistance video, um, then just give me a shout. 
I'm gonna go have my coffee now. So exciting. Bye.